This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing coming straight up out of that DMV. You know what it is. This that Baltimore designer right here. Come on now. Come and show some love and show some support. Go online right now. CoolGreenClothing.com and make your purchase. Oh yeah, by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in a way. And that's just basic. I, I. It's your girl, Mrs. Tony Two Times, and I'm back with another episode of The Baltimore Way. In this video, I'll be telling the story of the tragic slaying of 23-year-old mother of one, Asia Lilly. But before we get into this video, please hit that like button if you're enjoying our content and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more stories like this and any future uploads. And of course, feel free to share this video with everyone you know. Also, if you'd like to see more videos in the Baltimore Way series, please click the link to the playlist in the description box after this video to get caught up. Now, everything in this video is alleged. All right, let's get into it. Asia Lily was truly beautiful on the inside and out. The mother of a precious one-year-old daughter was loving and caring. Asia was a generous and thoughtful person and always put others before herself. Asia and her child's father, 24-year-old Cameron Morell, were in a relationship and living together with their baby girl at an apartment complex near English Oak Road in Parkville. In the early morning of Saturday, February 17th, 2024, Baltimore County Police responded to the 6600 block of Collingsdale Road after someone heard shots and a woman screaming. Officers found a woman suffering from a life-threatening gunshot wound. The woman was identified as 23-year-old Asia Lilly. Asia was seated inside her running car that crashed near the apartment complex where she lived. Officers began to render aid to Asia until paramedics arrived. Despite life-saving efforts, Asia passed away at the scene. Police found several spent 9mm shell casings on the car's dashboard and on the driver's side. As officers scanned the scene, they noticed an open sliding glass patio door at a nearby apartment, which happened to be Asia's. When officers looked inside, they found a handgun magazine, gun cleaning brushes, and an unfired weapon cartridge scattered on the floor of the hallway inside the apartment. Police also discovered a holster on the bedroom nightstand that they said belonged to Cameron Morell, Asia's boyfriend and child's father. They also located a partially empty box of 9mm ammunition that was found in a book bag with Cameron's passport. After further observation, Police determined that the casings found at the scene were the same caliber and brand as the ones found in the apartment. It was reported that Cameron is an employed security guard with a state-registered Glock 9mm. Investigators found out that Cameron had missed work since Asia slaying and told his supervisor that his child was sick. However, that was not the case, and a family member was actually taking care of he and Asia's daughter. Officers tracked down Cameron to his mother's home in Dundalk, where they believed he was hiding. As officers were about to search the residence, his mother directed them to a closet where her son had placed his weapon. The weapon happened to be the same caliber and brand as the ammunition recovered at the scene of Asia's slaying. Cameron was taken into custody. He refused to interview with detectives, but he did confirm his phone number and address. Cell tower records showed Cameron in the area of the incident on the date and time of when Asia was slain. 
It was also reported that according to online court records, the couple had a history of domestic and child custody issues. In December of 2023, a judge in Baltimore County ordered them to have joint legal custody and shared physical custody of their child. Despite their past issues, no motive has been given in Asia Slan. Cameron Morrell was charged with first and second degree hit and is being held at the Baltimore County Detention Center without bail. He is innocent until proven guilty. May Asia Lily rest in peace. My deepest condolences and well wishes to her family, loved ones, and friends. Asia's slaying stunned everyone who knew her. Asia was described as someone who cared for others and would do anything she can to help. She was very supportive and understanding. She was a light in the lives of the people she knew. She was a doting mother to her daughter. There was an outpouring of love for Asia on social media. She was admired by many and she is missed dearly. It's very sad that Asia's daughter has to grow up without her presence. She may also lose her father to prison if he is found to be responsible for taking Asia's life. If Cameron is responsible, I just wonder why it had to come to him taking the mother of his child's life. What was the thought process behind his fatal and brutal actions? I know the hurt and pain is still fresh for Asia's family and friends. I hope that Asia gets the justice she deserves and her family can get some closure. Fam, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this tragic situation in the comments. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of The Baltimore Way. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Mrs. Tony Two Times, and I'm out.